following problem asks us to graph the equation of a line y equals negative x minus 1 using a t-chart. Well, first let's discuss quickly what a graph is. Well, when you're talking about a graph of a line, you're talking about a collection of points. Um, a line is always considered a collection. It's a bunch of points put right next to each other that end up looking like a straight line versus a collection of points. But this collection of points um, is all in the form x, y, and they all do one thing in particular, and that make that particular uh, equation true. So what we're looking for are values for x and y that make that equation true. We're not looking for, we, we want to avoid things that don't make it true and just find things that do make it true. So to do this we make a list of just some basic things that make it true. And this is called a t-chart and you're going to do things by inputting uh, x values in for y. And I usually pick five values starting with negative four, negative two, zero, two, four. These are just pretty easy values to pick and use and Sometimes I won't use all three of the, all five of them, but uh, it's good to have a lot of that point so you can really see what's going on. So now you just plug in your x values and you find your y. So I'm going to plug negative 4 in for x, and I'm going to have y equals a negative, negative 4, minus 1. A negative, negative 4 is 4, so you end up with 4 minus 1, which is 3. Now I'm going to do the same thing with negative 2, so a negative, negative 2, minus 1, which equals 2, minus 1, which equals 1. So when I plug it in negative 4, I got 3. When I plugged in negative 2, I got 1. Those two values make our equation true. So now let's plug in 0 for x. So a negative 0 minus 1 equals negative 1. So you're going to have x equals 0. Well, y is going to be negative 1 because negative 0 just goes away. So you're just left with a negative 1. We like 0. Having Plugging in 0 is really easy. Okay, you plug in 2, so you're going to have a negative 2 minus 1, which equals negative 3. And then you put, because um, you get negative 2 minus 1, which is negative 3. And then plug in 4, y equals a negative 4 minus 1. Well, negative 4 minus 1 is um, got to be negative 5. So I've used all five points, values for x, and I find five values out for y. These are not the only values. There are lots of, I mean, it's actually an infinite number of values uh, that you could plug in for x and get a value out for y. There's no, no limit to it. But we're just going to pick these because it's going to give us a general... Um, idea of what the graph is. So let's plot those points. So negative 4 over 3 up, negative 2 over 1, 0, negative 1, that's actually called the y-intercept, 2 over negative 3 down, and then 4, negative 5. And as you can see, they make a nice straight line, which is just a linear equation, and so it should always do that. I'm going to use my nice line feature um, that I have on my, my uh, software here to draw a really nice straight line, but you, you should use a ruler or the side of a book or side of a piece of paper or something. So there's my nice straight line through those points. Um, and then now I want to just kind of get an idea of exactly what this means. So I can find a point on there, for instance, uh, the point 1, negative 2. It's not one of the points I initially had, but it's a point that's on the line. If I plug that in, negative 2 for y, 1 for x, I get y equals a negative 1 minus 1, which is negative 2. So that point makes the equation true. So every point on that line makes the equation true.